Hi everybody, it's Diana Baucus, and um, I'm coming here as uh, Doreen asked me if I would be a guest designer uh, for the opulent um, bird's nest. So she sent me the kit and I just had a ball with it. The only thing is I started off real good as, as a guest designer because I forgot I did not show you the kit before I put it together. So I am going to put um, Jennifer Stevens, A Trace of Sparkle, and Violet Fosky, um, I think it's paper, Papers Made Pretty, there's something, I, I'll, have to, I'll make sure to look it up, but I'll put those two at the bottom so that uh, you can go and look at their videos and see exactly what all is in this kit because it's a beautiful kit and... Um, I've got so much stuff left over yet to, um, um, and I will share what I make with that um, when I um, come back and do the rest. I, I'm doing the opulent bird's nest first, and then because I'm going to do, I'm going to do my first um, book. I've never done a book. Um, I guess. I'm going to say it's, I'm not even sure what kind of book you would call it. It's not a lace book, book of laces, or uh, it's just a book with pretty trims and all that and pictures and stuff. And I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know what you call it, but that's what I'm going to do with all the things that I have left over. And um, I may have to add a little bit to it, but uh, I, I will do that if I have to. So... I'm going to show you my nest, and this is this is my nest. Let's see if you get a. I will show you closer. Um, but anyways, I'll tell you what I did first, and then I will show you up closer. The nest, uh, the around here, is 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 glued on. I noticed some of the girls didn't do that, but I did. But anyways, I'm gonna. Where I started was is I painted my springs pink, and then all the trims that were in there, I cut them and put them around the bottom like a skirt. That's all the trims that came in the box or in the kit. Um, I added this bling out of my own stash, but um, I wanted to hang a little bling in there. There's another piece. There's four um, pieces. And so that's how I did this. And it's, it's really hard to get that full picture, but they're all in there. They really are. And... Uh, and here's that fluffy that came with it. Put that in there too. I just mixed up everything and put in there for the little skirt. Then after I did that, oops, got some little something something there. Then after I did that, I wanted the nest to be um, kind of fluffy and cozy. And so, um, what I did is I took, uh, this, this fabric here, and I just love it. You, you probably have a hard time seeing because it's so delicate, and it's got little pink roses and, and regular roses all over it, and it's just gorgeous. And, but I happen to have some fabric that was very similar. This is my own fabric. It's a little heavier than that, but it's faded and very soft. So what I did is, and I didn't want to use this for the, for the nest because you wouldn't have seen it. And I'm going to use this with my book. So um, what I did is I started out like I was going to make a flower. And um, 
I made it a little bigger and I just did a couple rows all along here with this fabric because I thought that would really make a neat nest so you can see how it's fluffy and just kind of so I'm going to show you guys all a close shot I hope when I get done telling you about this so then I took and I put a doily right in the center and pushed it down in the middle. And this is the doily right here, right here. And it's all underneath the bird. So then I started I this little pearl chain here. I took and I put that along kind of along the front of the nest and just fit it in on the nest. Then all my, a lot of my little tidbits and such, I put all down in the nest. Birds love to collect shiny things and I thought that that would be really cute to put them all down inside the nest like he's, you know, hoarding them. So that's, that's what I did. I, I I'm, Gosh, I wish it would show up better. Oh, and some applique I put in there also. Then, this is not the bird. She sent two little birds that come with the nest. I put one down at the bottom, and I'll show you that later. And then, this is a bird from my own stash. I love him. I bought them at Hobby Lobby and I've got two of them and I've never used them and I thought and he just snuggled down in there so nice his little tail sticking up over here but that's, that's him there then I made a little bow that dangles down and I'd run some Damani chain down the whole the length of the bows and then here's the little bow I made it out of there's a little piece of, uh, actually it's a good size piece of about an inch trim that she included and it looks like dotted Swiss and it's just beautiful and then I put a little tiny piece of doily in there and she had a covered button and I put that right there so that's the little bow that's by the bird. Then I added, she had a little charm in there that looks like a little, oh, kind of reminds me of a little lantern. And then I had, I don't know where this came from exactly, but I put, attached that to that with the jump ring and just made a dangle there. And then, let's see, oh, I put little butterfly and this also is from my own stash and then oh I have two stick pins over here that I stuck down in there one's a heart and one's just a little decorative and I stuck it down and so just the tops come up and it just added a little something to it so um, and I was going to add, I'm, I'm, I'm still going to do that. I totally forgot, but I, I thought I'd add a little couple little rose buds in there. So I'm going to pull this aside and show you what I did at the bottom. I put actually three doilies. I have this one, I have this one, and I have a smaller one in the middle. And that's what I did, like a little skirt. Then I took oop, a little piece of glue sticks, glue pins all over. Anyways, this is going to sit flat. I used the big charm that she included. I love that charm. Oh my God, it sparkles like I can't even believe. And um, then I put one of the little birds. There's a little rose, a little bead, and a little bird's nest 
over here and then a little applique back here that the, this is one of my crochet flowers that sets on there I just wanted something to um, you know hold everything and make it look pretty but that's that's that so this is the bottom This is the these laces. Oh, I got them all messed up now because I pulled them aside. But anyways, there's the laces hanging from the nest, and here is the nest. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, from the side, and the nest from the inside where the birdie is setting. Well, this picture really is not doing it justice, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe it'll look better on video. I'm just... So anyways, I'll put them out here from a distance. And he sits this way. And he's all snuggled down in there, and I just love it. It, it really turned out pretty, and... Um, I'm going to try to find me some more springs because I'd like to make a couple more. I think they're just so much fun to make. And, you know, as you're going, you think of other ideas that you can do. And yet, um, you know, you've already gotten into this one. But I'm totally satisfied with this. It really is pretty. And, um, oh, and I put that a little pink uh, ruffle around here, around the bottom before I put the nest on. I forgot about that. See, it goes all the way around the, the whole nest. So, so that's that, ladies. I, um, it would have been a longer video had I, um, probably should take, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, it would have been a longer video had I had to go through the whole kit. and uh, But um, I am working on, like I say, I'm working on a book. I've got lots of stuff left from this nest, and I want some of that I'm using in the book. Like, there was a beautiful piece of pink satin. I don't know if I got... Well, I'm not sure where it is. I should show you. Look at my mess. Can you see it? It's terrible. I can't even see anything in there. So, anyway, that's all today, ladies, and um, thank you so much for watching. And Doreen, have mercy on me. All right, bye-bye.